You see uh, a little hop in the step uh, after a bye week. Yeah, you know, the the rest was much needed. And, uh, you know, got to get a little head start on Stanford, which was nice. Um, you know, it's just all about how we come out and prepare this week, though. So, uh, you know, I'm glad everybody got to rest their bodies and, um, you know, just get a little time away. But, you know, it's time to get back to it. So, As the starting quarterback, do you get a chance to actually rest at all over yeah, a bye week? No, the coaches did a great job of letting us get some time. Um, you know, they didn't make a lot of stuff. You know that's gonna be physically towing or you know extra film and all that stuff. You know we pretty much did the same stuff that we would do. Um, you know just minus a lot of the hard practices. Um, so it was good just for our bodies to rest and um, while still getting a head start um, with the film breakdown and game plan stuff. So it's a uh, you know feel prepared but also feel good. So it's a uh, it was a great bye week. Uh, now that you've had a, a a week plus to to look at Stanford. What do you what sticks out about you about their secondary? You know they're all just disciplined. You know they. They're really good with their eyes, you know, they don't really give up too many big plays and they're just going to be, you know, just doing what their coach to do, honestly. And that's kind of what great defenses do if you have good coaches in which they do. So it's going to be a challenge for us to how well can we out execute them and do our job better than they do. It's not often that a defensive tackle ha leads a team yeah. in tackles and has 73 tackles. Yeah, exactly what 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 stands out to you about how he kind of collapses the pocket? Yeah, he's just physical, you know. He's um, big. He's like the definition of Stanford. He's big. He's physical, and usually, you know, makes the right smart play. Um, you know, so he's going to be a great challenge, you know, for our line to handle, and um, you know, just try to see if how many plays we can get by him. Coach uh, and and Pat yesterday um, were praising your decision making. Um, late in the season are you feeling improvements with how you're operating the offense and decision making even even this late in the year yeah it's a day-by-day -day process um you know every every time i get a chance to learn from a mistake i really try to put emphasis on it um you know you guys have seen it throughout the whole year having to learn the hard way and stuff like that and games and stuff like that so it's trying to just figure out a way to make those not happen again and um it's been a really great challenge for me to it's you know not just to learn the game better but to mature you know to figuring out how to use my time and you know when we're away from the stadium and stuff like that you know so it's um it's been a great challenge for me and uh i feel like i've really grown as a person and um you know making steps in the right direction to where i want to go and help and uh, where i can i think i could help take this program um so it's um, uh, you know, I appreciate their praise a lot, and I'm really happy that they noticed. And you know, I just got to keep that going. And, you know, we still have two opportunities to get a third one. So, have you have you been able to enjoy this process at all? Um, kind of your maturation this season? Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, trust me. There's there's been lows of the lows now, but um, we're still out here playing football, and um, I get to be with my best friends. You know, and I, I with coaches that genuinely care about me and our team and my teammates, and. Um, it's just it's a it's a great opportunity. It's a true blessing, honestly. It's hard to not love to be out here, whether you're zero and you know zero and ten or ten and zero. You know, it's you know I'm sure it's a little bit more fun to be ten and zero. But it's you know it's still I'm doing what I get to. I do, I'm doing what I want to do every single day. You know, and that's just the uh, I'm kind of living the dream, my dream at least. So it's I'm having a great time. How are you guys handling this week? You guys have been so good at kind of being in the moment, um, but you have a rivalry game. It, it's a chance to go to a bowl. There's a lot, a lot into this week. How are you guys kind of compartmentalizing it? Yeah, um, you know, I kind of just look back to the USC game. We kind of, you know, at least for myself, just maybe blew it a little out of proportion. You know, just not, you know, it's just it's the same for us. You know, it's a, just a, it's a football team that we have to go out and line up against, and how well can we execute? It's not. You know, I know the axe is on the line. I know we haven't won in a while. All that stuff is, you know, it's great. And it's a great opportunity. It makes it, you know, better for the fans and stuff. But for us, it's the same old, same old. And that's how we're going to try to treat it and uh, just make sure that we're ready to go. How, how did you guys, did you guys just, get, just psych yourselves out before that, that, that USC no, we didn't, game? I or? wouldn't say psyched ourselves out. Um, I just think um, just maybe folk was maybe thinking about some of the wrong things in terms of, you know, oh, you know, we haven't beat these guys in so long and all that stuff. It doesn't matter that we weren't on those teams for the most part, you know, it's so it's uh, and, you know, we have an opportunity in front of us today and, and like, you know, on Saturday we will. So it's going to be how well can we stay in that moment and focus on our job. So how aware of a big game of this rivalry were you in Washington? Was this, uh, was this something that was on your radar? No, not really, to be honest. Um, you know, I, I, everyone has a rivalry. Um, I, you know, and as soon as I got here, I didn't realize how big it was. Um, 
and the first one I got to watch um, was when we were at Stanford two years ago, and I got to see like you know people really do care about um, you know this rivalry out here as fans and stuff like that, um, and it's awesome. It makes the you know the stadium more electric. It makes um, you know just everything better, more fun. So it's uh, I'm excited to get uh, you know my first crack at it and uh, just you know see what we can do. Uh, our Stanford writers doing uh, something on Bryce Love, kind of replacing Christian McCaffrey, and everything that goes into that. Um, you've had to replace two draft picks in a row. Does that make your job any more difficult coming after two guys like that? No. Um, I mean, I could see people would think, you know, you, you know, if you're, you could, you know, oh, you know, it's so tough coming behind those two guys because they did such great things, and that's awesome, um, you know. But I know that I'm not those two guys, and I know that. You know, whatever I do is gonna be how I'm remembered, and that's not. It doesn't. They don't affect anything. I'm more thankful that I got to sit behind those two guys because I had two great examples, um, and just tried to learn as much as I could from them and um, apply it. You know, all the stuff that I liked or didn't like, apply it to my game and how I handle the team and being a leader or whatever the case is. So, um, you know, it never discouraged in being behind great players. You know, if anything, it just makes me excited to be. Um, you know, trying to get to their level, you know, and have that opportunity. So, do you, do you ever think about that? There is a, a pretty nice legacy of, of Cal quarterbacks. Do you think about kind of being the next in the line of that group? Um, it, it's a, it's more. I don't so much more think about it. More, you know, it's kind of a dream. You know, mm -hmm. um, to be in the discussion of an Aaron Rodgers or a Jared Goff, and um, you know, it'd be a true blessing. But I know that that comes with a lot of work. Um, and. That's all I've been trying to do, um, and just trying to get myself in a position where I can make a, you know, a play here or there that could help me get to that level. Because it's all just stacking good plays on top of good plays. So, um, you know, that's kind of a dream of mine, and I'm just trying to work towards that. But, you know, I'm not really thinking about that on the regular. You know, I got to be as good as him. You know, that'll, you know, you go mentally insane thinking yeah. about that. Yep. So, it's all good. Yeah. Are there any specifics that you took from from Davis and Jared that, that you do use? Yeah, I use a, you know not there's not too many things that I you know will try to implement just because that's their personal style. But I saw you know some things out of Jared that I really liked. I saw some things out of Davis that I really liked, and um, you know just tried to make sure that you know whether it was me sitting in the meeting or watching them from a distance and saying you know I really like that or I gained respect for them by watching that or whatever. You know, just trying to make sure I have a moment like that. Um, you know, with my teammates and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, that's kind of the big takeaway that I learned from them. You know, they, uh, you know, they let their work and their play demand respect. So it's kind of something that I've been trying to do. I've been uh, around a, a bunch of teams that say offensive execution or, or management, and, and I hear you guys say operation. You're, you're operating the offense. Is that do you know where that started? I, I've, I've heard all of you guys pair it, and I can't I can't get to the bottom of, of where that started. Yeah, I you mean, can take credit if you want. No, it's not me at all. No, it's not. No, trust me. It's if anything, it's our coaches. You know, it's they they really believe in. Um, you know this offense, and as they should. It's a, you know, when we do our job and operate, it works. Um, you know, like you guys have seen. You know, we've been, I don't know, how, you know, how many games, but the last couple of games we've been playing pretty well and can move the ball when we want to. It's just when we don't do well, we stall, we stall ourselves out, whether it's an interception or a fumble or, you know, whatever the case was. You know, so it's just making sure we operate and knowing how to operate. You know, and. They, you know, a big thing with us is just knowing it's half the battle, you know what I mean? So then that comes with the whole week of preparation, and, um, you know, we take pride in that, and that's something that we really put an emphasis on, so. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate it.